How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today in this video we'll talk about the much awaited nothing os 4.0 beta update that i was able to install on my brand new true flagship nothing phone 3 Guys, although I'm not a huge fan of Nothing smartphones, I do like their approach regarding the software. I mean, Nothing OS is definitely one of the cleanest Android experiences you can get right now. And in today's video, I'll show you the new features and changes they have made with this 4.0 update that is based on Android 16. Spoiler alert, we do not have many exciting things to share, but still let's find out what's new with the Nothing OS 4.0. With that being said, make sure you watch this video until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first things first, let me quickly show you the installation process. Well, in case if you really want to experience this latest beta build on your Nothing phone, all you have to do is just go to the Nothing's official website or even you can simply search Nothing OS 4.0 beta and here just click on the first site which is basically the Nothing's community page. Now as you can see, the beta is available for Nothing Phone 3, Phone 2, Phone 2A and 2A Plus users. So if you own any of these devices, you can easily install this latest version. Just scroll all the way down and download and install this Beta Updates Hub APK on your phone. Once done, then go to your phone settings, system and here you'll see something called Nothing Beta Hub. Just go inside and make sure you have enrolled for the beta version. That's it. Then simply click on system updates and you will see the all new Nothing OS 4 ready to install on your Nothing phone. Guys, this update is around 2.6 GB in size and there are quite a few things they have added which I'm going to talk about right now. Since I've already updated and installed this latest update on my Nothing phone 3. First things first, once you have updated your phone and then go to the about phone section here you will notice that it looks a bit different compared to the Nothing OS 3. Now it shows your phone design on the right and then on the left you can see the current software version running on your device. Then below it shows the device name which you can edit as well. I like how this new layout has been designed and I would say the about section has gotten even better with the 4.0 update. Moving on let's talk about the lock screen. If I long press and then click on customize lock screen, here they have just added two new clock styles. We already had six different clocks but now we have got two more options. One is this beautiful looking font which is my personal favorite and I think it looks much better compared to some other clock faces available on the Nothing OS. Then we also get this one too which I am not a big fan of but I really like this particular design. I think it looks really really good on the lock screen. Now apart from that, we do not see any new feature or customization related to the lock screen. I think they should have given us the option to change at least the clock color and position. I mean this is something that is very essential to customize the lock screen and sadly even with the Nothing OS 4, we do not have such basic customization features. Next up, there are a couple of changes related to the quick settings. If I simply open the quick panel and then click on this edit button, here the first noticeable change is that now you can turn any tile into 2x2. Two two. This wasn't the case with the previous version where it was exclusively reserved only for the Bluetooth toggle but now you can resize and convert any tile into 2x2. Two two. This basically means you now have full control to customize and tweak each and every toggle inside the control center as per your need. And guys if I just long press and go into dark mode settings, here when you turn on the dark theme on your phone. You now get this brand new option called extra dark mode and once you toggle this on, you get the pitch black background instead of that grey color. I am glad they finally added this true dark mode which is something again not an extraordinary thing but an essential feature that was missing on Nothing OS. Another essential feature that was missing for a long time is the ability to open multiple apps in a pop-up window. You can now keep two pop-up apps open at a time and you can also switch between them easily. Again something that is already present on almost every Android phone, Nothing finally thought of bringing this to the Nothing OS. Moving on to the settings page, here we have one important setting that's been added with this latest update. If you go inside the app section and then scroll all the way down, here we get this brand new option called app optimization. Now once you hit on the optimize button, it will take some time to optimize all your applications and then the apps will launch faster and you will get a much better experience. So when you are facing some kind of lag or there is a delay when you open and close applications, then you can definitely try this feature. 
Guys, even the app opening and closing animations has gotten a lot smoother on this latest Nothing OS 4 compared to the previous version. I might make a separate video comparing the animations with other Android phones, so stay tuned for that. Now finally, let's talk about one really interesting thing and that is called the playground. It's a space where you can find and download some really cool looking presets for your camera. You can also download some glyph toys in case if you're a phone 3 user and the best part is you can also find some really good looking widgets here which can be downloaded and applied directly to your home screen. All these are created by the Nothing community. If you want, you can also create and share your own work. What's even more interesting here is that currently you can only create widgets with the help of AI but in future you might be able to create some of your own full-fledged application with a few prompts. Guys, you can just go to the playground.nothing.tech and download some of these cool stuff created by the Nothing users themselves. Just make sure that your device is running the latest Nothing OS 4 or else you won't be able to download anything from here. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are all the new features and changes they have made with the latest Nothing OS 4. Unfortunately, we do not have much to talk about. And if we compare it with other Android upgrades, this has to be the boring Android 16 update of 2025 with very less features and changes. Anyways, let me know in the comment section which is your favorite feature of Nothing OS 4. And if you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.